Good morning everybody. I've got power going everywhere today. It is another beautiful bright and sunny day which means we have tons of solar. We're charging both our phones. We're charging a tablet. We're charging a lamp. We're charging another lamp. We're charging my battery bank. Um, the modem is permanently on and then the uh, power we use from here we go out to whatever we need at the time. So uh, I have another line though running the fridge just so you know, but that's a separate line. Uh, just so you know, because I know somebody's going to ask that. But we use this station heavily. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five USB ports being used right now. Six actually if you can consider uh, Melanie put hers here. Six USB ports actively charging plus the modem is full time plugged in here. That's a permanent home for the modem now. Um, so even our internet is powered by off-grid solar power. Hey guys, we just lost grid power. I'm looking at the light just to show you. Light switch. It's on right now. No grid power. Um, but we do have internet and computer. Over here, we still have our power. Actually, we're still taking a bit of a charge even right now from the solar panels, not much. And um, we still have internet right now. So we still have power. Um, this goes and runs over to the computer. I've got another line that runs to the fridge freezer now, as needed. So um, I still have my computer hooked up and I can still do video work and um, work on the internet. But we did lose power. It was a very windy and brutal day out there today. And um, it was coming and going. So uh, we'll see if they get that restored. The only thing that I cannot power in the afternoon evening periods is the water pump. So with the grid down, we cannot pump water. That's the only thing that we really cannot do right now with no grid because um, with the sun down and not pumping on those solar panels there just isn't the power for the for the well that is it's just is how it is so that's the only thing we don't have in a power outage scenario I take that back guys we have no internet frontier internet out here in the country has no battery backup and they're, we, the, uh, they lost, the, they're on the same grid line, they're the same lines as we are, wherever they are. Um, we're out. So, that's a bummer. Frontier's out, internet is out, and um, the uh, main power for the uh, area is out. So I might as well shut that down. There is no internet. We have power. We can charge things, run things, run lights, whatever. We have power, but... There's no uh, grid and no internet. That's a bummer. I was so pleased with putting the modem on the off-grid system so that I would never lose internet in case of a power failure on the grid. But I guess they're connected. Um, so we lost everything. Well, um, we still have power. Um, in here, in the bedroom slash office, I used the Thru-Night TC-20. Um, as a, a light in here. It's actually all I use now in here, funny enough, because it has such a long battery life and it's USB rechargeable. That's a light I recently reviewed and um, it works for me perfectly. I have it on the medium setting and I've been running it for a week or so in here as a light. So um, we have enough power here at least and I can charge that with USB as needed. I'm not going to run the monitor right now, although I could, because we don't know how long um, we're going to be down. And I'm going to save everything we have um, in case I do need to try to power up that well pump. So I don't want to pull too much. Actually, that's not plugged in right now either. So right now, um, even the fridge is disconnected at this time just to save power and see how long this is going to be. Um, this is our truly f first real off, off the grid, no power scenario where um, we're really going to test our system to its fullest extent. 
So, uh, well, it's a good experience. We'll see what happens.